Oh, are you wondering why there is uh, brown stuff on my shirt that looks like diarrhea? Oh, just f today, f this week, f last month, and today. <laughs> I have had, it could always be worse, yes, but I have had quite the f***ing day today. <laughs> I, okay, so I tweeted earlier, I was like, have you ever had those days where you like, think you're gonna get a lot done and then you, fe it feels like you're like running in place and you're not getting anything done. It feels like you're running at an incredible rate, Harry. <sighs> By the way, excuse my makeup, it's completely not even finished and there's pieces missing because I had to wipe this shit off my face. <sighs> so, it's like one of those days where like a dream where you feel like you're running in place and you're not going anywhere like that's me today so i was like you know what i'm gonna take today back i'm gonna sit down i'm gonna film a video because that's on my to-do list and i've been needing to do it now for like two weeks i've had the stuff <sighs> so i'm grooving I'm listening to my music i'm doing doing my makeup and then this happens oh my oh my gosh so I am basically the queen of putting things back in the fridge, the cabinet, etc., with the lid not entirely screwed on. So maybe this was the lesson of all lessons to teach me to put the lid on. So I've got my protein shake and all my drawers are open around me, like while I'm doing my makeup. Oh God, the sun. Ah. Um, so all of my makeup drawers were open around me and I take it and I'm like, you, you have to shake those really hard because the sediment, like the protein gets stuck on the bottom. So I just throw it back and I just start going to town like crazy shake weight. And then the lid wasn't on. The lid was not on. The lid wasn't on. The protein went all over my room, all over my monitor, all over my, my uh, everything, everything. My microphone, the all the carpet, like I'm literally about to move out of this place in like a month, all over the carpet all over everything, all over my soul, all over my hopes and dreams, all over my future, all of my future children. Like it was everywhere. Oh, so, and that's, that happened after something else happened this morning that we'll talk about in a second. So I sat down, I was going to do my little video, but uh, this is the video that I'm doing instead today because, um, you know, when life gives you lemons, make some lemonade out of it so here is some shitty lemonade for my channel in the form of a video you're welcome thank you very much hopefully this is very entertaining i mean laura lee and tons of people were laughing i know my real friends now <laughs> she's like i can't stop laughing <laughs> bitch if you lived closer i'd be calling your ass to come help me um so basically i have protein shake all over me um, it got all over my face it's actually probably still all up in my ear and my oh gosh oh it oh no it's all in my hair ew okay it's all over everything so yeah that happened today so um we're we're not gonna do what we were gonna do today uh, we're gonna do this instead and then also after this I'm going to the movies I'm gonna take my ass to the movies I'm gonna buy myself three martinis Maybe I should lift it there. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get some martinis and I'm gonna get drunk and I'm I'm gonna watch a movie by myself. That's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna order some edamame and some hummus and that's gonna be that's gonna be my evening and I might even have a fire outside when I get home because I seriously need to just okay story time okay so if you follow me okay we gotta get out of the sun here it's I'm gonna freaking burst into flames um so if you follow me on you know snapchat or oh my gosh there's protein all over my neck um if you follow me on snapchat or any of those things let's just start from the beginning here um i have been through some stuff and in compared to like in comparison to like other people's problems and things this is literally nothing so this is just me ranting please take this with a grain of salt i'm not saying that my situation is terrible like let's not get serious here let's just talk about what has happened so far so uh i'm in the process of applying uh for a mortgage for a home in nashville which i need to do an update video about and i have taken such good care of my credit 
oh my gosh, the sun keeps moving. Ah! Um, I've taken such good care of my credit for the last 12 years since I got a credit card to begin with. And I had an amazing credit score. It was in like the mid 800s, like doing really good. My debt to income ratio, wonderful. I, I owe zero debt. Um, my father made it clear to me at a very young age that debt and your credit are extremely important. So don't ever screw them up. So I didn't. I worked really hard and diligently on that. So then um, I noticed that a couple weeks ago, that maybe three weeks ago now, that I had a Sprint charge in collections. I've never been a Sprint member. I've never used Sprint in my whole freaking life. Some asshole rung up $1,200 with my, they must have had an ID with my name on it in their picture. Um, and so that was in collections and my credit score dropped 100 points, taking me down to the 700s. And if you know anything about credit and mortgage, um, it, it plays a big role in your mortgage rate. And so I was so upset. I had to file a police report. It became a part-time job to to deal with this. I had to, I had to get a, uh, I had to get an affidavit. I had to get, uh, get a fraud package. Some other people making fun of my situation. <laughs> um, I had to get a fraud packet. I had to photocopy multiple forms of identification. I had to fill this whole form out. I had to call the police station. I had to file a report. I had to follow up. I had to go pick it up. Um, put it all together, sent, go to the post office, pay for it to go certified, um, follow up with them and be like, Hey, I saw that you got it. Like what, what's going on? Like I'm in the process of trying to buy a house and my credit score just dropped a hundred points. So that happened. We got it taken care of. They got it. It's on the, it's in the, it's in it's in route to be off my credit, I guess. Um, my credit score is still shit at the moment. So then I'm like feeling pretty good. I handled it, you know, et cetera. Um, then I, I no longer have a pet assistant. That's a different story that we're not going to talk about here, but so I've been doing all of it myself with my housekeeper. It's been very difficult. Um, but we've been managing, so that was a little hard too. And then a couple nights ago, I get another notice. Now I'm with identity force. So I can make sure that nobody is like opening anything with my credit or my name or my social nothing. All my shit is locked down last year in August. Somebody opened a Cox Cable account and there are $400 sitting in collections that they think I'm not paying. So this pops up about two nights ago and I just like lost my mind. I just started crying uncontrollably. Like my whole shirt was wet. I was so upset and so emotional because I've worked so hard on my credit and I, and this is just like the worst timing ever. Like I'm trying to get a house right now. Like my credit has been amazing. And then the moment I try and get a mortgage for a house, two things go to collections. And um, there's also hard inquiries at Saks Fifth Avenue and AT&T. Never been to Saks Fifth Avenue. Never care to go there. Don't, never shopped there. Um, also haven't had AT&T for over 12 years. So I'm in the process of like fighting all of this stuff and it's just stressing me out. Um, also, I owe a lot in taxes and that's been very stressful too. So um, setting aside funds for that and investing into my SEP IRA and it's just been a lot. Um, I'm so fortunate for so many different things in life. Like, please don't take this video as like me complaining. It's just supposed to be more of making fun and making light of the situations as of late and especially today. But let's go ahead and talk about what happened earlier this morning. So I wake up and I don't realize that it's like literally 10 a.m. and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's like 8 a.m. I need to sleep more. So I go pee, I come back, grab my phone, get in bed. And I look online and there's something that I need to fix and uh, with Arctic Fox. So I get up to handle that and I sit, I get, I, I put on my little slippers, I make an espresso, I sit down on my computer, I'm like, all right, let's do this. So I sit down and then I hear something like in my, some, somewhere in my office, like rustling around, moving around something. And I'm like, there is an animal in here. Is it a wild animal or is it one of mine? We're gonna find out. So I am like looking everywhere and the, the sound stops. And I'm just like, I'm not going crazy. Like that, I heard that sound. So then I have this giant thing 
in my office this like giant ikea dresser that is heavier than a freaking semi like it is heavy 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 so i look behind it and there's Oliveira, my hamster my teddy bear hamster looks like she's super tired like she's been stuck there for a while like i don't i'm trying to figure out honestly how she even got inside the house because I keep my animals in my garage. I have an animal garage and there is a step that's literally about this high of cement in, in order to get into the house. I leave that door open at night um, so that it's temperature regulated, but I have no idea, A, how she got out of her cage. A, this is one. One, how she got out of her cage. I looked at her cage and I'm like, I, I don't even know how, how she did that. Like it, it wasn't left open. I put her in a new cage. Like she must have squeezed through the bars. Like I don't even know how it's possible. I don't. I know they can squeeze down very small. I still don't know how it's possible. Then she somehow got up the step and thank God she didn't go into the other garage because that's where Penny is and Penny would have ripped her ass apart. So thank God she didn't go in there, but she's stuck back there and like looks like tired and I don't know if she's hurt. Like I don't know what's going on. So I try and get her out with like a little lid and it's clear to me that she's like not gonna budge. Um, it, 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 she's not budging. Like, so I'm like, okay, I have to move this thing. And I try with all my might to like scooch the one edge of it out from the wall so I can get her. Not happening. That thing is so heavy. I started emptying the drawers, still not happening. So my office at this point is a disaster. Um, because I was in such a panic to get her out of there, I didn't remove anything from the top of this thing. And I just went into mom mode. Like, you know, if you have kids or animals, like, you know, when they're in danger, you drop everything, you do everything in your power to save them and prevent them from getting hurt or scared. So, well, that didn't work out. So I take this giant dresser and I tip it forward slightly and then all the drawers start coming out and they're full of like, some of the ones that I didn't clean out, full of foundation, just poof, like opening. And then all the stuff is starting to fall off the top and breaking and just like falling all over the ground. And I'm just losing my shit and she gets freaked out. She's like freaking out. Like all the noise is scaring her to death. So I get even more panicked. I'm like, I gotta get her out of here. Then this thing is so heavy that I'm literally balancing it like, and it's tipping forward. And as the drawers are coming out, like if you've ever been a waitress, you know, like if somebody grabs drinks off your tray, typically you drop the, the tray because it's imbalanced. So this thing, all the drawers start coming out and it's like wobbling like this. And I know if it comes back this way against the wall, it's going to crush my hamster, so, like right in front of me. So I just immediately started crying. I'm like, oh my God, no matter what happens here, this is not going to end well. Like this is gonna be up. And so I'm just like trying to balance it. It's tipping forward, it's tipping back and I'm trying to just keep it balanced as best as possible. And this little shit is like going like back and forth in between the back here and like not, not coming out of either end. And then she goes under the part that's tipped up and I'm just like, oh, I can't even see you now. So I started throwing little brushes at her, like to try and get her to like go out the other way because at this point I'm holding it. And I, I how long can I truly hold it before I've got to put it down? Like, and I can't reach her, I couldn't do anything. Um, so finally, finally she comes close enough to me after about five minutes of me holding this thing and I'm like, I can't hold this thing much longer. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I, I don't know. And so then, she comes close enough and I, I push her with my foot at, while I'm holding this thing and balancing it, push her with my foot out the edge and I lean down, I grab her and I put her in something while I try and figure this out. And then by this point, there's everything all over the floor. Everything has fallen out. Everything's out of the drawers, off the top, scattered, just ruined. And so, and then there's, by this point, there's also stuff that has fallen behind there and I can't put the damn thing back. Like now it's just like, ugh, I get like away from the wall. So that's how my morning started. She is okay, folks. It's okay, baby. Are you proud about what you did? Huh? Huh, little one? And then it was just me trying to deal with the Saks Fifth Avenue fraud department, etc. but Oliveira is fine. Um, I put her in the other cage that she was already in before that I know she can't get out of. Gotta figure out how she got out of that. I'm, 
I, I'm so glad she's okay, but like, <sighs> that was so stressful. And then, then today I'm like dealing with some fraud stuff and I don't eat breakfast until like 1 p.m. I haven't even been in the gym yet. And I was gonna film a video today and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go through some of my drawers and get rid of some stuff before I move. I'm going to sit down and film a video because I've been wanting to film this for a little while now. And not this, but what I was gonna film. So I'm doing my makeup and I'm like trying to like get in a better mood, you know, and I try and shake my protein shake and it just goes everywhere, like all over. And my snake wouldn't eat last night either, which is another annoying thing. Um, so yeah, that's that's been my day. It's been very stressful. <laughs> um, and you know, at the end of the day, I just have to, you just have to be grateful for what you do have because you can sit there and complain about all the shit that happens to you and the stuff that you, that have, has gone wrong for you. And it's all relative, you know? So it's like, oh, it seems terrible for you and like the worst day ever in, com in comparison to your other days. But, you know, in comparison to some other people's lives and things that they're going through, it's really, it ain't shit. So you just kind of have to, Give yourself some perspective and it's not easy to do. I struggle with it too. I'm just like, why me, dude? Like I'm human. I'm not like all daisies and poppies and the positive all the time. I'm just not. Um, but you know, you have to try and just roll with the punches. And so me rolling with the punches is filming this video and I just cleaned up my entire desk. So I'm gonna give you a time lapse of that because it is quite, <sighs> It, it's fun to watch. I really enjoy watching cleaning um, time lapses. I think they're great. So tonight I'm gonna go to the movies, like I said, and just relax. I'm just gonna go hang out with my animals right now and just not put any expectations on myself because um, I'm thinking I might, well, I might log some stuff in QuickBooks. But um, so yeah, that's, that's the moral of the story. If you're having a shit day, there's always someone that's having a worse day. Um, and think of all the things that would be like the worst thing in the world to you to happen and that and hopefully that's not happening so it's not a, it's not a terrible day it's not a terrible day it's it's uh it's a good day in comparison to some things but okay without uh, further ado let's go ahead and do the fun cleaning time lapse and cue that now satisfying is like a good cleaning time lapse like I, I dig it I love it so much all right I smell like protein shake I'm gonna go take a shower wash my freaking face because there's no point in wearing makeup I'm just gonna go out to the movies so uh, oh my toenails need to be painted whoa I just took a look down at those scary um, I hope you guys are having a better day than I am and just a good day in general don't take life too seriously and uh, sometimes if you need to punch a wall, punch a wall and then fix it later. I don't know.
I, I need to get a punching bag again, actually. That might be kind of, I used to have one of those and I taped my stepmom's picture to it. She, she let me do that, by the way. <laughs> and that was pretty fun. Um, anyways, I'm rambling now, so I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully I can film tomorrow as well, but uh, I love you guys and have a better day than me. Bye.